Patients are likely receiving or could benefit from the drug remdesivir, but that drug is in short supply. So which hospitals get it and how much? WBZ's Anna Redis Rodriguez takes a closer look. In the race to find a treatment for COVID-19, a drug that's showing potential has reached Massachusetts hospitals. It was initially developed for viruses like SARS or MERS, but it never got approved for those. Made by California-based Gilead Sciences, remdesivir received emergency use approval from the FDA May 1st. Last week, the federal government announced more than half a million donated doses of the drug will be distributed nationally. This drug is promising and we want to get it to the American people and to the areas that need it most. But the initial rollout has drawn criticism from the Massachusetts legislature. In a letter to the vice president, Senators Ed Markey, Elizabeth Warren and Congresswoman Ayanna Presley called out the administration saying, quote, hospitals across the nation are reporting uneven distribution of remdesivir with the drug going to hospitals with fewer COVID-19 patients than others. WBZ has learned Mass General, Beth Israel and Boston Medical Center have receive the drug. We already have 80 some odd patients in the hospital who are intubated with COVID and we don't have enough remdesivir for all of them. Mass General's Vice Chair of Emergency Medicine says the lack of supply will make for difficult choices on who among the sickest of patients gets the medication. This really is a very hard decision. At the end of the day, it's very patient specific. And that the jury is still out on whether remdesivir will actually work. The trial results should be coming out in a few days. It report, they reportedly show that there was an improvement in both the mortality and the time it took patients to get better. An indication that finding a transformative therapy may still be months away. I'm Anna Rodriguez, WBZ News. Well, for the first time in more than a month,